tonight, the moon is two days in. I thought I'd shift things around a little bit and go for the views. This is Messier 57, as you can well tell. And however, it's twice as large as it normally appears because we're operating at 150X. I have removed the focal reducer. So now we're operating the full F8 and we're getting larger size, but we're not gonna see as deep. I'm also reducing the exposure time to 64 floods. So basically we're getting something along the lines of a 10 inch view at 150X. We only have about 10 by seven arc minute field of view. I want to explore playing with this. One thing I haven't quite figured out is why I lost color. And I did because I used to be able to get color in the dumbbell and in the ring. Uh, something in the settings perhaps, or just something um, purely on, on a software basis. I don't know, I'll have to do more research. But this is a fairly decent view of Messier 57, which as some of you may know, is the holotype for exploring the ranges of sizes and magnitudes of various planetary nebulae that I explored, explored earlier today in posting images from last night. So enjoy that view. Here we have Messier 22 as promised at 150x. One of the things I also will note is I've installed a light filter to remove some of the luminosity from the sky that's put up either by the town of John Day or by the moon itself. So we should get a darker, higher contrast background to what you're seeing. Um, the cluster is resolving quite ni nicely. However, the stars look a little bloated. I did take some time because I removed the focal reducer to set the focus on Vega earlier, but those stars do look a bit bloated to me, so I may have to redo the focus again. I'm not sure if that'll be necessary. But there's our look at 150X at Messier 22. And what we're looking at now is Messier 29. It's another seven arc minute sized open cluster. And I pretty much centered it up on the field. Have a look. I'm going to continue sweeping around for Messier's and then I'm going to jump to NGC's because I really would like to image some faint galaxies as well this evening. As you can see, we're back to the ring nebula. However, it's about uh, almost a half an hour later. That's quite a good view. It's not overpowering on the screen, from what I can tell. The central star may just be visible at magnitude 15.5, and I think that would be fine at uh, 64 flood if we're actually able to see that. So I'm going to skip now to the 6700 series and see if I can pick out some faint galaxies. However, one caveat, the track go-to tracking is not very good right now. So. Uh, I'm not sure where things will pop up on the screen, but we'll do the best we can. Okay, we're, I just bumped the shutter speed up to 128 flood, 42 decibels. We're still at NGC 6710. It could take a while for the image to take form. It's that 13.1 magnitude, 1.7 by 1 oblate spiral, 209 million light years distant. I'm searching for some settings at without the focal reducer 150x that will give good aesthetic views of various different kinds of studies but they're all going to vary depending upon their magnitude their types i'd rather have a consistent set of settings but we're not doing experiment we're not doing a large broad swath of, of studies here now that we have to be able to compare one to the next we're just looking for some nice views so we get to explore a little bit okay this should be our carpe noctum moment we're looking at hopefully ngc 6745 galaxy in lyra magnitude 13.5 1.3 by 
0.5 arc minutes and I am smelling a skunk. Spiral with some peculiarities, 208 million light years distant. <clears throat> it's at 41 degrees and the scope is virtually pointing straight up but I do not think it's being blocked in any way. From what I can see on the screen, we got that problem with the speckles all over the place. Oh, can't be sure about the galaxy. Something right here. It's supposed to be edgy on with some peculiarities. Could very well be it. Give it another 10 seconds or so and hope I don't get sprayed by a skunk. NGC 6745, Galaxy and Lyra, virtually overhead, magnitude 13.5, 1.3 by 0.5 arc minutes, spiral with some peculiarities, 200 million light years distant, almost 41 degrees north, and we're looking at it at 256 flood. 42 decibels and 150x. The field of the screen is probably something like 10 by 7 arc minutes. Very difficult to keep things centered where the high uh, contrast region is. But it was a good experiment and hopefully we have seen something of interest. Carpe Nocto.